I completely lost my sense of smell and taste. So please at home, don't do any of your wacky tests that you may have heard online. Can you self-test for COVID-19? There are loads of other weird kind of tests that people are doing Weird and wacky. There, there's no point in doing those ones. Those are not accurate. So if you want to do a test to know whether you have coronavirus, it needs to be a swab. So it looks a bit like a cotton wool but like, oh, yes. that you shouldn't put in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> It needs to be done properly, okay? So not just kind of wafted in front of your nose. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might be painful or uncomfortable, but yeah. it, it really wasn't. Nothing else is gonna yeah. tell you it. Exactly. So please at home, don't do any of your wacky tests that you may have heard online. So Ian, let's talk about who can catch coronavirus. Anyone. Love it. Young exactly. people often feel like they're invincible, me <laughs> included. Even if you have very mild symptoms or no symptoms at all, you can still pass it on. But it's a virus that has devastating pathological effects on the elderly and people with vulnerabilities. So that's why it's really important for everybody, no matter what your risk, to take the extra precautions like wearing a face mask, making sure that you're physically distanced and washing your hands. What is the correct way to treat coronavirus? Because there's so much out there which is just nonsense about yes. treating yeah. it. The vast majority of people are going to be okay with coronavirus. They're going to be able to self-manage at home. What we do know though is that keeping your immune system as fit as possible is always important. Stay at home, rest, self-isolate, do all the good things. So what are the real symptoms of coronavirus? Having a cough, having a temperature, and losing your sense of taste or smell. If you have any of those three, we're not saying that you have coronavirus. We're saying that you now have ticked the box for isolation. Well, you had it, didn't you? I did, and actually, I didn't really have any of the real symptoms of it. Yeah, I got it very early on in the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I suspect I got it from treating patients. Yeah. I just felt really unwell, really tired, and I felt sort of fluey. And then I completely lost my sense of smell and taste. Completely. And that lasted for four weeks. But quite importantly, it's sometimes not symptomatic at all. So somebody can be infected and yet they have no symptoms. And that makes this virus particularly hard to control. Jenna, will coronavirus be affected by weather? But it's another one of those, isn't it, where we don't absolutely know for certain. There was a theory that the ultraviolet light uh, will kill the virus. But unfortunately, what we've seen is that actually countries which have sunny and hot climates also have outbreaks of coronavirus, so that's not the case.